It helps to restore moisture and nourishment back into the hair. When Shauna Moses struggled to find a natural hair care product that worked for her, she used her background in lab science to try out her own formula. I tested it out on all my family members, gave some to my mom, and she loved it. And she gave some to her, um, her church sisters, and they loved it. And they kept coming back and asking her, where can we get more of this product? It led her to launch her own business. She's since been able to expand her product line and move from running the business out of her house to a storefront in downtown Wilson. At first, Moses says the transition was a little overwhelming. I worked in the healthcare industry as a laboratory scientist. I was helping to diagnose diseases, and that's what I did. I had no business experience at all. So this is a teaching tool. But then she got connected to an accelerator program run by a Raleigh-based organization called Riot. Tom Snyder, Riot's executive director, says they often cater these programs to small business owners in rural communities. They provide them with training and help connect them to networks of mentors and markets. What we're seeing today, particularly since 4G style broadband and now fiber optic and 5G and other things come along, is that ability to authentically connect rural and urban into kind of a greater system rather than feeling I'm isolated as a small community. Snyder says we live in a time when you can run a company from anywhere, making it attractive to live in a rural community like Wilson. Quality of life for people can be quite a bit different because you're not spending two hours a day in a commute, perhaps two hours each way in some of our biggest cities. And this is Calendula. It's the small tight-knit community that keeps Moses and her family in Wilson. And it's allowed her to develop deeper connections in a growing community of fellow entrepreneurs. It's exciting to see um, the investments that are going on and the businesses that are moving downtown. It's, it's really exciting to see that the, the downtown is coming to life.